And I think my favorite version of this, and this will be the last one that we do, actually comes via CNN. And I know that I, look, I'm not trying to target CNN whenever I do segments like this. It's just that CNN keeps stepping in it. And because it's my job to point that out, I have to do so. So this is CNN. Ahead of today's demonstration, the governor declared a state of emergency and banned all weapons on Capitol grounds. But outside that secured area, many demonstrators were heavily armed. Look at them. They look like soldiers there, some wearing body armor. All right. So that's that's Bill Hennessy of CNN talking about how outrageous it is. It's like, look at them. They they look like soldiers. They have body armor on. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Well, first of all, it makes even less sense to be worried about body armor than guns because as ridiculous as it, as some of their reactions to this have been, at least a gun is a weapon capable of hurting you. Body armor is a defensive mechanism. <laughs> and another thing too, even though there were no credible threats of violence, Remember that the media all weekend had been saying, there's going to be violence at this thing. This thing's going to be violent. There's going to be a bloodbath. And what's hilarious to me is the same media that was warning people to stay away because it's going to be violent. You need to be careful. The same people that said that are like, and then they're, they're wearing body armor. Oh, gosh, what are they? Well, if you were reporting that there would be violence at this thing, why wouldn't they wear body armor? <laughs> like, you would think if that were the case that body armor would kind of make sense. And here's something that I think Bill Hennessy might not have considered. Maybe they were soldiers. In fact, in that same CNN report, just a, a few minutes later, his own on-the-field reporter reported that there are several police officers, ex-police officers, law enforcement, and military present in the crowd. So maybe the reason they look like soldiers is because they might actually be soldiers. Maybe Bill Hennessy should have thought about that before he ran his mouth. But it doesn't end there. Bill Hennessy continues on with this ridiculousness. Here he is. All we want to do is to be able to defend ourselves, you know, not only from, you know, violent criminals, but from a government that would usurp the Constitution as well. So, you know, you hear what he says about that, and there's a lot of people that feel that way. He said he doesn't mind some uh, measures to control guns, but he says, for the most part, that the government should stay out uh, of that realm because of the Second Amendment. And you do have folks here from all over the country. You have folks from Ohio, from Georgia, from Arkansas, lots of folks here, and so far, a peaceful rally. Jim? Well, in this comment there, you appear to be saying the right to use guns against the government, uh, if in his view that it's violating the Constitution. There's CNN's Bill Hennessy. Yeah, you know, that guy that you were talking to, he was, it almost seemed like he was suggesting that people, you know, he's defending the right to use guns against the government. Yeah, you moron, that's the reason we wrote the freaking thing. Have you never read the Constitution? I mean, I've read it quite a few times, and the Second Amendment is kind of one of the shorter ones. And it says a well-regulated militia being necessary. So a well-regulated militia, a, a militia being the reason that the Second Amendment is put together, which means it's not self-defense. I mean, sure, that's part of it, but that's not the reason the Second Amendment was written. It's not about hunting. It's not about sport shooting or going out and, and having fun with your family shooting skeet. None of that. The reason the Second Amendment exists is for one thing to use against a tyrannical government. Those other things are nice to have guns for, but they're not the reason the Second Amendment was penned. The Second Amendment has one reason for existing, and that is to use as a counter by the citizens on an oppressive government. It's written in the freaking bill that that's the reason that this thing is in here. And Bill Hennessy just, oh, clutch my pearls and fan myself. Oh gosh, he's talking about maybe using guns against the government someday if they go AWOL and, and break the constitution. Well, yeah, that's the whole reason that the thing's in there. I mean, it would be like being upset. He's like, you know, he's, he's talking about free speech, even if it's something that the government doesn't like. 
well, yeah, that would be the only reason that we would have the First Amendment in the first place is so we could have free speech the government doesn't like. Surely the government wouldn't be censoring speech that the government likes. That wouldn't make any sense. The only reason to have a Second Amendment is to use as a check against an oppressive government. And anybody that has done, I don't know, more than 15 seconds worth of reading on the purpose of the Second Amendment understands that. And what's hilarious to me is you've got everybody from Northam to CNN trying to, to squeeze in this rhetoric about Nazis and white supremacists. Here's the thing that they forget. The Nazis were for gun confiscation. It's one of the first things they did. First they confiscated them from the Jews, then they confiscated it from their own citizens. The people that weren't Jews. And then they had control of all the guns, that was one of the very first things that Hitler did. And so it's hilarious to me they keep trying to equate these guys as Nazis and white supremacists, which isn't true, and then try to equate them to that despite the fact that if they knew history, they would know that the Nazis are the ones that are in favor of gun control, not against it. In this scenario, Northam and the Democrats in the House and Senate are far closer, policy-wise, to the Nazis than any of the people in the crowd there are. That's just a historic fact. There's no way to argue against that. Now, y'all know that I am a big believer in personal liberty, and that means I think that you should be free to decide for yourself whether or not you like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel. However, I will say this. You know who else never subscribed to my channel? Hitler. So the way I see it, you have two options. You can either like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel, or you can be like Hitler. Totally up to you.